Hey guys, this is Gary. Honda is most popular for its fuel-efficient front-wheel drive passenger vehicles. The name in the past was never associated with performance. It wasn't until the early 90s that the world got to see what Honda could do in the consumer car performance arena. This video will be on the history of the Honda Type R. Honda's founder, Sochiro Honda, pursued various business opportunities starting out as a piston ring supplier for Toyota, followed by motorcycle engines in the later 1940s, and then automobiles in the late 1960s. Honda's popularity actually started out with motorcycles, in which they later included automobiles. It may not be well known, but Honda was involved with Formula One racing since 1964, which they've been in and out of as a racing team and engine supplier. It wasn't until the mid-1980s that Honda started focusing on a performance line of engines for their road cars. This pursuit led to Honda's Variable Valve Timing and Lift Electronic Control or VTEC system. VTEC was actually derived out of Honda's experience with small displacement, high revving motorcycle motors. A prototype form of it was initially used in the 1983 CBR400 motorcycle called REV, which stands for Revolution Modulated Valve Control. The automotive version used two different cam lobes, a smaller cam lobe on the lower end of the power band to help with drivability characteristics, which transitions to a higher cam lobe in the upper RPMs for performance. This technology allowed operation at a higher redline, which was astronomical for its era. An engine though is no good without the right chassis. The pathway was now set for Honda's performance trim, Type R. Shigeru Uhera of Honda's research and development led the sports car development project to help create the first two Honda Type Rs. The R in Type R stands for racing, so the trim would be designed with racing in mind. The Type R trim is focused ultimately on performance, which mainly consisted of a VTEC motor, manual transmission for driver involvement, limited slip differential for traction, racing seats to secure the occupants, weight reduction, stiffened chassis, track suspension, and aero. It is designed to be the ultimate driving machine from Honda. There were also multiple colors offered throughout the years, but the one associated for Honda's Type R is championship white with red Honda emblems. The paint scheme pays tribute to the 1965 Formula One Grand Prix in which Honda was the first Japanese car manufacturer to have won with their RA272 Formula One car. There were various Type R models, but its reputation for Honda has been mainly as the ultimate front-wheel drive performance vehicle. Honda was one of the first Japanese car manufacturers to introduce a luxury brand to the US market. In this case, Acura in 1986. Acura would be used to sell their rebranded luxury line of cars to the USA market. This time frame would also find Honda creating its first supercar, the NSX. It was the second car to implement their newly developed VTEC engine, the C30 A, which was a 276 horsepower, 3 liter aluminum V6 engine specifically designed for the NSX. Just to make things clear, the first engine to receive the VTEC technology is the B16A, which is a 1.6 liter aluminum four cylinder. The Acura NSX supercar was well received by the public as being a reliable supercar rivaling Ferrari. The NSX was not only Honda's first supercar, it was also the first to embrace the Type R badge. The NSX Type R was introduced in 1992 and sold to 1995. It was only available in Japan though, and its primary target was to be a race car for the street. It had various weight reduction methods which made it lighter and stiffer racing suspension than the normal NSX. With the NSX Type R trim ending in 1995, Honda now applied its Type R treatment to its sport compact cars. The Honda Integra Type R is probably the most iconic of all the Type R models. It appeared in 1995 for the international market with the USA and European market later in 1997 to 1998. The Japanese Integra had different exterior looks than the US and European version. Integra owners in the US would convert their front ends amongst other things with a Type R headlight conversion which appealed more to the Japanese market. 
The B18C5 in the Integra held the naturally aspirated horsepower per liter record until it was broken later on by the Honda Civic Type R and then later by the Honda S2000. The Honda Type R was built to meet FIA race homologation rules. 3,823 of them found a home in the US. Due to engineering involved with each example and low sales volume, Honda made a loss on every car sold, which may explain why we didn't get another Type R for a long time. The Integra Type R was successful in the World Challenge where Real Time Racing said, in 1997, the team's World Challenge Touring Car Program transitioned to the Acura Integra Type R. Real Time Drivers won championships with this model in 1997, 1998, 2000, 2001, and 2002. A winning example of Real Time's Integra Type R resides in the Honda Museum. The third model to receive the Type R trim would be the Honda Civic Type R in August of 1997. It would be a Japan-only model and received similar treatment to the Integra Type R. It received the B16B engine, which took the highest horsepower per liter crown from the Integra Type R. The Honda Civic Type R seemed to always find itself competing with its older cousin, the Integra Type R, at this time for the king of the sport compact car arena in Japan. The fourth model to receive the Type R treatment was the Accord Type R from 1998 to 2002 and was only available for the European market. It received a red valve covered H22A7 with 2.2 liter making 210 horsepower. Despite being unappealing, it was competitive in the 2000 European Super Touring Cup season. The seventh generation Honda Civic and its Type R trim was the first to be manufactured outside of Japan in Swindon, England. So technically, it is no longer considered JDM. The Civic Type R's first introduction to the European market was this model. Let's just say the Japanese one was the better version of the two. Both versions were a little awkward with its shifter sitting high, but more popular compared to Ford's Focus and Volkswagen's GTI. A new K20 engine with iVTEC now incorporates variable timing control along with their VTEC system. A 6-speed manual transmission was standard. It was considered a great deal for a car under 22,000 with a top speed of 146 miles per hour. Many awards from magazines were given and it sold in big numbers. The Civic Type R was revised in 2004 to address some of the issues such as understeer on the limit numb steering response, and lack of low-end torque. There was also a 30th anniversary Civic Type R offered to celebrate 30 years of Civic production. Only 300 were produced for the 30th anniversary. The 2001 release of this Honda Civic Type R was also the return of Honda to Formula One after almost 10 years. The Honda Integra Type R soon later followed in 2002. This generation Integra was known in the US as the Acura RSX. The closest thing we got to a Type R in the US was the Type S trim. A 220 horsepower 2 liter K28 is used. The car was larger and heavier than the former Integra, making its characteristics very different, but it felt more solid. This generation Integra Type R was used by Team Dynamics in the British Touring Car Championship in which it won its first year in 2005 and the following year in 2006. 2002 also reintroduced an NSX Type R or NSX R. This NSX was based off of the fixed roof body style for rigidity and was mainly focused on weight reduction. This NSX received a tweaked ECU for response, more aggressive suspension, and a revised 3.2 liter engine. It was able to post a 7 minute 56 time at the Nürburgring, beating out the Ferrari F360 Stradale, which had a 100 horsepower advantage over the NSX. This would also be the last time we see of the first generation NSX Type R. The Integra or RSX would become discontinued, leaving the Civic to occupy the sport compact class for Honda. The 8th generation Honda Civic received the Type R as a four-door sedan for Japan only and a hatchback for Europe only until 2009, which it was also then imported to Japan. I'll start with the hatchback first. It was still manufactured out of the Swindon plant in England. Honda decided to downgrade their rear suspension to a torsion beam setup on the hatchback, 
which is technically inferior to the multi-link setup of the previous EP3 Civic Type R. This decision made the ride harsher. Honda applied the same K20 engine, but with a slightly broader torque curve. Earlier examples were supplied with no limited slip differential unless they were special editions, which received them as standard. The Japanese market did receive this Civic Type R in 2009 and 2010, but rebadged as the Civic Type R Euro to not cause any confusion. The hatchback was, in a sense, inferior to its predecessor, especially with its futuristic look. It became larger, had nicer interior, more compliant on the road, but was underpowered for its weight and lost its Type R edge. This chassis was much different than the one used for the Civic, and was utilized for the second generation Honda Fit or Jazz, which was not much of a performance car. The Honda Civic Type R was manufactured in Suzuka, Japan, despite both Civics being the same generation. The difference though, is that this was the first time the Civic Type R was offered in a sedan body style, which was larger than the hatchback, but had more power and was lighter. The suspension included McPherson struts up front and had a more desirable independent rear suspension. Its longer wheelbase was also more stable during high-speed cornering. It was 50% more rigid than the DC5 Integra Type R and now bonded with adhesives instead of welding. It received aluminum parts to help drop weight with aero enhancements. The trademark Recaro seats were no longer supplied by Recaro and now provided by Honda. There were only 13,000 FD2 Honda Civic Type R's produced. The FD2 Honda Civic Type R sedan was actually found to be faster than the DC5 Honda Integra Type R at local Japanese tracks. The FD2 Civic Type R would also be faster than the FN2 Civic Type R hatchback in their testing. Production of the FD2 and FN2 ended in 2011 due to stricter emissions regulations creating the end of an era for the naturally aspirated, high-revving Type R motors. After a brief disappearance, 2015 introduced a new Honda Civic Type R hatchback. It was still manufactured in Swindon, England, but now with a direct fuel-injected K20C with 6-speed manual transmission. The most drastic change, though, is a first-ever turbocharged motor which is manufactured and imported from Anna, Ohio, USA there was no longer a naturally aspirated high RPM motor which caused a lot of disdain from enthusiasts. But if you were to consider that the competition had already moved on to turbocharged motors, then you'd understand that Honda also needed to do it to compete. The motor does have VTEC, but not the high revving VTEC of before. The suspension consists of McPherson struts up front but now with Honda's dual axis strut design, which mitigates torque steer. A torsion beam rear suspension is still used in the rear. A notable feature is the plus R button, which enhances the driving experience from daily driver to track duties. This new Civic Type R did bring back the race to the trim and did hold the record for the fastest front wheel drive car around the Nürburgring briefly at 7 minutes 50 seconds with a top speed of 167 miles per hour. The Civic Type R received its first major win in the British Touring Car Championship, claiming both the Drivers' and Manufacturers' Championship in 2015. Honda also set out across Europe to benchmark five legendary circuits to claim the front-wheel drive record. This Type R wasn't without its flaws as Honda is moving towards a global market we saw this Type R get replaced only within two years of its production. The 2017 Honda Civic Type R appeared and is based on the 10th generation Honda Civic hatchback sold globally. This would be the first Honda Civic Type R offered for the US market since its appearance 20 years earlier in Japan. It has similar features to the Type R it replaces. It still uses the same K20C 4-cylinder turbo and 6-speed manual transmission. It makes the best of track duties with increased torsional and bending rigidity, advanced aero, dual-axis front struts, and now an independent rear which improves handling. The body is aerodynamic with vortex generators to diffuse the air going to the large wing to create downforce. There are three tailpipes in the center rear which are used to diminish the drone sounds at highway speeds. It now has a 3-mode plus R button for comfort, sport, and race. 
This Honda Civic Type R was designed to be used on daily commutes and track duties. The FK8 Honda Civic Type R is said to have already set the fastest front wheel drive lap time on the Nürburgring of 7 minutes to 43 seconds, beating out the previous record holder, the Volkswagen GTI Club Sport by 5.5 seconds. This Civic has the latest technology implemented to Honda's Type R lineage. We'll have to wait and see what other achievements appear on this Type R's resume and future Honda Type R's. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the history of the Honda Type R. This performance trim has become legendary in the import scene. Like and subscribe for future content and also check out my other videos. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.